Welcome back to the Breakfast Club. Let's talk about something that can be quite annoying. Uninvited guests at home. We already know that's irritating, but you know what's even worse? When those uninvited guests are actually pimples and acne showing up on your face, especially when they're forehead surprises. I think I have an over here right now which is nicely <laughs> hit away with some makeup but you know what I'm saying right when you always have this urge to sort of pop them and they always appear at the worst time. Today on the Y Factor we are getting to the bottom of the skin saboteur. Let's dive in. Who likes uninvited guests? I don't. Do you? No one right? And the most irritating, unwanted, uninvited, unwelcome guest happens to be the biggest villain of our skin, pimples. How do they always know to show up when we are getting excited for certain special occasions? That too on the forehead. Forehead pimples can be the ultimate confidence killer. But have you ever wondered why we get pimples, especially on the forehead? In simple words, pimples happen when pores in your skin get blocked and inflamed. Moving on to the forehead, a part of the larger T-zone of the face including the nose and chin is prone to breakouts for so many reasons. There is a general belief system in ancient Chinese medicine, the forehead is linked to our digestive system. So if you get pimples too often, that means you are indulging in too much sugar processed foods or not drinking enough water. Then, how do these pores in your skin get blocked and inflamed? Let's understand from an expert. Acne anywhere in the body is primarily occurring due to three common factors. The first factor being the unhealthy production of oil in your skin, which is medically known as sebum. The second most important factor is the accumulation of dead skin cells and thirdly is the overgrowth of the bacteria that causes acne. Now, even though these factors are related for occurrence of acne anywhere in the body, in the forehead it becomes even more so important because your forehead is a part of your T-zone where the activity of this sebaceous gland which is responsible for producing this oil or sebum is more in distribution as well as in concentration. We know that forehead pimples can be frustrating. But understanding their causes and implementing effective skincare practices can significantly reduce their occurrence. We mean by addressing factors like oil production, hormonal imbalance and lifestyle choices, you can improve your skin's appearance and maintain a clearer complexion. To understand it better, let's ask our expert. So what becomes essential to prevent this forehead acne is to follow a proper cleansing regime using a pH balanced cleanser to ensure that the skin pH is maintained and your skin is thoroughly cleansed. Secondly, it is important to stay away or shy away from the over usage of chemicals on your hair. Using very strong shampoos can disrupt the pH of your scalp. Your scalp skin is as important as your skin skin. So it's very necessary that you use very mild shampoos which can help prevent irritation of your scalp and also at the same time cleanse your scalp. Make sure that you stay away from products which are laden with sulfates, parabens or fragrances. Using and choosing to have hairstyles which are more summer friendly is always helpful in tropical countries because we have a very humid weather. Any hairstyle or uh, occlusive usage of headbands in this weather can lead to the over development of acne. So use as minimum as possible as hair accessories because that could lead to friction in the forehead area. Lastly, if your forehead acne is resistant, do consult a dermatologist because sometimes it is necessary that you might need oral antibiotics or topical skincare to get rid of these problems. I hope these tips are useful. Always remember to stay hydrated and eat a well-balanced diet to have healthy skin. So now that you know why we get forehead pimples and how can we avoid them, share away.
Okay, and with that, we are going to be drawing our show to a close. It's Friday, Friday, as Sonal as you like to say. But we'll just let our audiences know one more thing. At the bottom of the screen right now, we're playing out for you where you can send us in your feedback. Send it in any episode this week. We want to know what you thought, what you'd like to see done on the show. Let us know. On that note, have a good weekend, stay positive in women, lots to read up and lots to think about in these times. Catch you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.